Okay, hello guys, I'm going to be explaining really quick how to install my RetroPie themes. Uh, if you have your computer connected to the same network as your Raspberry Pi, you just go to File Explorer and go here to Quick Access and write this backward slash, backward slash, RetroPie. You can write it either all caps or small like this. So let's go. When you're in this area, go to configs, go to all emulation station. Here, you will create this folder. If it's if it's not there, just create one. Go to right click, new, and create the folder. Name it things, just like this one. And inside here, you will just place the theme. Go to your emulation station. All right, here, you will press Start. Go to UI Settings. And here, you will see the theme. I prefer to have it on the instant. But you can have it however you want. But yeah, here's the theme. You can um, find it like any other theme right there also uh, you guys have been asking about how to install the overlays so you go to config go to all go to retroarch go to overlay borders and inside here you will place my um, overlay files or any other overlay you have with their respective config right here. Set the overlays. You go to your console of choice. Pick a game. Let's go to Armor Core. Why not? And here you press, I mean, in my case, select and triangle to bring up the RetroWatch menu. Uh, if you have an Xbox 360 controller, it will be select Y. If you have a Super NES star controller, it will be select and X. This is the first screen you should see right here. The one with the quick menu on top. Then you go to settings. You go to on-screen display. You go to on-screen overlay. Then you go to Overlay Presets. Here you go to Borders. And here you will see all, all of the overlays uh, you have installed. Here you will select one. I have one select already, so... And you will see it right here. You go all the way back by pressing X or B or A. Depending on the controller you have. Here you go to Configurations and save it. It says save current configuration. You go and save that that uh, overlay and then press uh, select and triangle or vice versa. You can press triangle first and select later and we exit. And you will see the overlay uh, in action. So there you have it, you can see it's pretty easy, and uh, if you have any questions just let me know, and I'll try to help if you have any issues, so thank you guys for watching and see you later.